cancer? Stopping vaccination gives people cancer? Thank you, anti-vaxxers. You really are the tumor of the world. Hello, my condemned victims, and welcome to my channel, also known as your doom. I'm Ent. I'm a rhinovirus. And today I'm going to be showing you how I'm killing you. Yes, you, and your friends, and your family, and your boyfriend, girlfriend, or non-binary partner. It's gonna be dope. Calculations are on my amazing supercomputer, AKA SC. And she's ready to start the simulation. I'm sure your world leaders got you covered on this one though, considering their track record. I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. Uh, you'll be pleased to know. I love you, Boris. God, I love you. Ready to start simulation. There are currently in the world 26 diseases that are preventable by vaccination. 116 million children are vaccinated every year. However, still one in every 10 children has never been vaccinated. In this simulation, vaccines cease to exist, calculating consequences. Now we're talking. In the first weeks after stopping vaccinations, life ensues as normal. And this ensues in things being we cannot calculate exactly when the first major outbreak of a previously vaccine-preventable disease will occur, but we know for sure that it will occur. One classic candidate is measles. Come on, SC. Measles? I'm trying to kill the world here, not just the daycare. Measles is amongst the most underrated diseases. Although it may not seem dangerous, it is highly contagious, and one infected individual can potentially pass on the disease to 15 to 18 other individuals. Numbers vary, but it's estimated that up to one in 500 people who contracts measles dies of complications. Okay, you win, that's not too bad. <laughs> ah, the sweet melody of despair. In the past years, outbreaks happened in higher rates despite effective vaccines available, because more and more people think that vaccines might be bad for human health. Honestly, guys, it's like some of you just want to die. Without vaccination, measles would cause about 2 million deaths per year worldwide. However, the direct effects on numbers of cases, hospitalizations, and deaths would only be part of the story. Outbreaks also bring along social consequences. Schools close and parents keep their children alone at home. Rumors start about who is responsible for the spread. Paranoia starts to erode societies. And if you think the paranoia part is bad, think again. Celebrities can always make it worse. It's a virus, I get it. Like, I respect it. Yeah, people are gonna die. It's just terrible, but like, inevitable? I know you all miss High School Musical now. Like, so much. Approximately two years later, diseases that would need a bit longer to spread would cause outbreaks again. Polio, which was almost eradicated, leaves millions of children paralyzed. Pneumonia and meningitis case numbers increase steadily without vaccinations for pneumococci and meningococci. And that makes people pneumococci! In a few decades, crisis approaches its peak. Fast and slow spreading diseases wreak havoc among society. And while solid healthcare systems in industrialized countries can dampen the effects, people in developing countries suffer the most with millions of deaths. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just need a second to be really present here. You never really forget the first massive death toll your evil plan unleashes. It's these moments that make life worthwhile. <coughs> okay, back. Viruses with long-term health effects also have time to cause their most serious consequences. HBV secretly infects many hepatitis B victims, and liver cancer becomes more common. HBV-caused cervical cancer is more and more prevalent. Cancer? Stopping vaccination gives people cancer? Thank you, anti-vaxxers. You really are the tumor of the world. The increase in the number of vaccine-preventable diseases causes overcrowding of the hospitals, and illnesses that could be treated effectively before cease to receive care. Disability and death rates go up for unrelated common diseases, such as myocardial infarction and stroke. 
Furthermore, the absence of vaccines increases the use of antibiotics directly and indirectly. This in turn leads to the occurrence of more multi-resistant germs. We stand. At this point, the world is taken by various outbreaks and struggles with managing the high number of patients in hospitals. The number of cumulative deaths compared to a scenario with vaccines would already be hundreds of millions. At this point... Oh! Oh, wait. Is this what I'm thinking it is? The most dangerous development could be the emergence of a new super virus. Yes! The super virus might be a mutated version of an agent that used to affect only animals, but that is now able to cross the line to humans. Does that sound familiar? Huh. Only this time. There's no social isolation that is long enough to make this go away. And we've seen how globalization makes things easier for contagion. My pandemic will be bigger, stronger, longer. Soon, you'll find yourself watching Logan Paul's channel. And if the virus doesn't kill you, that surely will. This virus is the deadliest virus to ever arise. Forget Corona, forget Ebola. You have no chance against this because I, yes, I have robbed you of your mightiest weapon. Mortality rates will reach an all-time high. 40% of the world population, then 60%, then 90 Actually, My plan, my perfect plan will finally work. Everyone will know my name. All viruses, bacteria, everybody will know who Int is. And I will be the deadliest virus on Earth. Well, technically, the supervise will be the deadliest virus. But I'm the one who made it happen. I am Dr. Frankenstein, and my creature will kill the world. I'll be the king of viruses, the Frank Underwood of acellular beings. All disease-causing microorganisms alike will chant my name. And, 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 Because I'll have finally killed off all of humankind. Error, result is incorrect. What? Error, final result is incorrect. Error, speed of disease spread versus case fatality results in natural containment of the outbreak at an early stage. Error, you did not consider innate and cross immunity. Error, you did not consider preventative measures like isolation and quarantine. Error, you did not consider human research for the development of treatment. Error, you are unable to do simple math. Shut up! Stop it! What the f***? <sighs> so yeah, apparently people survive. The highest mortality rate I could possibly get by making vaccines cease to exist is 50%. Which is like fine, I guess. Problem is, there will always be a few of you idiots who have natural immunity. Those are people who can't catch the disease or that simply won't die from it. <sighs> I hate my life. But maybe, if I had something more dangerous... Error. A disease being very dangerous is not the same as being more deadly. If the virus kills too quickly, it does not have time to spread. Because... You enjoy crushing my dreams? Hey, guys. My apologies for my rage fit just before. It's just I'm so passionate about killing you. And I got so close. But don't you think this is the end? I already have new ideas to get you all kicking the bucket. But I'm not at liberty to discuss because I don't want to ruin the surprise for the next video. I mean, you should always keep some mystery for a relationship to work. Am I right? Huh? Huh? And speaking of it, maybe you guys can surprise me as well. While you're still alive, leave ideas in the comments below on how humanity can be brought into oblivion. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to see your ideas come to life as well. Check out my Instagram at the end too for some behind the scenes action. Don't forget to share this video so I can go <clears throat> viral. It's been a pleasure trying to slaughter your kind and see you next time. And after that, hopefully, never.